بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد what is taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal we always hear people in the khutbah the imams the mashayikh the duaat even between one another we always hear someone say, Taqullah, fear Allah. But what does it mean exactly? What, what we, is that in reference to? Fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some aspects of fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are for one, as the ulama describe, it's comprised of two two parts when we refer make reference to taqwa and the first thing is taqwa is in reference to of course fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but it is placing a barrier between yourself and the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and taqwa it involves two things it involves doing and following the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the second thing it involves avoiding his prohibitions those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited for us and we'll be looking at some of the ethar of the Salaf on how they define taqwa and we'll find that contained in the statement that we just made which was from some of our mashayikh specifically Sheikh uh, Abdul Razak Ibn Abdul Masin al-Abbad Hafizullah Ta'ala may Allah preserve both of them because they're both from our ulama of Ahl sunnah who spread the call to Tawheed and the call to Kitabillah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we'll find that the Shaykh's definition Hafidhullah Ta'ala that it is in accordance with the statements of the Salaf of this Ummah some of the Athar of the Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum like Abdullah ibn Mas'ud Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhum and may Allah be pleased with all the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will find that their statements regarding taqwa lay the foundation for us and Shaykh Abdul Razak is bringing a statement which is very much in conformity to their statement it's contained there, therein and this is the minhaj of the Salaf in fact is that you find that even the scholars of today how can we measure if they are from the people of Ahlul Sunnah and the people to be followed and the people to benefit from? We measure them by their statements and their definitions and their their qawaid, their their the, the principles that they lay down. Are they in accordance with Kitabillah, with Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the Madhab of the Salaf, or Ghayr Dalik? And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ala Nabiya Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم